To feed a growing population, it's clear we need to do more with less. To scale production at the same time, minimize our impacts on natural resources. You know, dairy is an extremely uh, important part of the, of the food chain. Uh, it brings a lot of natural uh, ingredients, a lot of natural nutrition whether it's calcium, whether it's protein, or whether it's fat that human beings need. Dairy also creates and supports livelihoods and helps in eradication of poverty and, and helps in economic empowerment of people in the rural areas, and especially for women. At the present, the carbon emissions of livestock industry accounts for nearly 15% of the total global emissions. In livestock industry, 61% of emissions come from cattle raising. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions in the upstream will not only stimulate the sustainable development of the industry, but will also make a huge contribution to the improvement of the environment. The latest IPCC report clearly shows that climate is at a tipping point uh, and that tipping point is getting closer and uh, it goes beyond saying that all industries uh, need to get uh, into action mode. As the adverse effects of climate change are increasingly being felt across nations, strong actions on a consistent basis are required to reduce the contribution of our dairy sector to climate change. As we continue to wrestle with threats to our, our global food supply, we have got to acknowledge the tensions that continue to influence the reality of every day. Tensions like addressing short-term challenges to keep food moving to market while meeting these long-term demands for resilience and regeneration. Balancing the struggles of those who produce food with the demands of those who consume it. We're talking about uh, uh, natural and uh, biological processes and it takes time to uh, change them. Uh, we can't just shift to a, a different uh, technology. It is actually uh, animal and biological processes that gently over time need, needs to be uh, to be developed uh, into a more sustainable uh, solution and that goes for, for, for cattle and uh, as well. In Friesland Campina we've always taken the, the whole sustainability challenge in an integral manner. And that means for us that we focus on three dimensions primarily. Um, the first one is about reduction of greenhouse gases, CO2 reductions. The second one is all about uh, improving on biodiversity. And the third dimension is to make sure that animal welfare is at the highest possible norms. Because we believe that it's not one issue we're trying to solve, but that things are actually hanging together and that's why the integral approach is so important for us. One of the activities that we do is we train our farmers uh, to be better dairy farmers and therefore improve their efficiency and, and productivity. Six national dairy organizations have partnered to initiate the U.S. Dairy Net Zero Initiative, a five-year industry-wide effort that's designed to break down the barriers and to make sustainable practices and technologies more affordable. Uh, more affordable and more accessible to U.S. dairy farms of all sizes and geographies. Meng Yu is leading in the China's dairy industry in terms of emission reduction. In particular, we implemented a desert transformation project in the Ulan Buha Desert in Inner Mongolia, planting 90 million plants and various crops and forming an oasis of 200 square kilo in the middle of the desert, creating a closed loop organic ecological cycle. We, as a, the Grand Imam Limited, in collaboration with the GAA, we have been trying to educate our farmers on how to improve the feeds, whereby we are, we are trained them on how to get a concentrate so as to reduce the grasses in the animal. We have over the last generation seen a significant increase in the yield per cow uh, amongst our farmers. In 1950, we were 
1.5 million dairy cows, for example, here in Denmark. Today, uh, we are around a third of, in terms of dairy cows, 500,000. Uh, but these 500,000 actually produced more milk uh, than back in 1950. And that's a great achievement, a significant increase in yield, which is good for the, uh, for, for the carbon footprint. To make dairy net zero, we should really implement all the latest technologies we have already available. This in itself will probably reduce the dairy footprint on average already right now by 20 to 30 percent. In addition, we should keep on innovating. Innovating with products like recently launched Bovera in Brazil and Chile, which further reduces methane emissions, for example, by 20 to 30 percent. Some regions have embarked on the Dairy Net Zero initiative sharing of experiences gained in these projects and collaboration among scientists from across the globe is essential to ensure the success. No one can do it alone. Uh, the dairy sector has to come together, share uh, knowledge uh, and share uh, the solutions uh, to the benefit of the entire sector. So many farmers are already, they're already demonstrating progress innovation, efficiency, stewardship. It's in farmer's DNA. Being a dairy farmer means caring for the environment. Generation after generation, dairy farmers are connected to their land and connected to the communities in which they live and operate. I'm certain that the dairy industry will actually fulfill uh, its commitment to climate change. I see innovation uh, coming towards us, the academic world stepping in, and I see governments uh, helping out. And I think with, you know, in that ecosystem between companies, academic institutions and governments, I see what progress is already being made. We ain't seen nothing yet. So I'm absolutely positive about the future. We in the global dairy sector are rising to meet the worldwide climate challenge. We're a global dairy community. United towards pathways. 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 Pathways to dairy net zero.